Cheeseburgers, hamburgers, <laughs> corn dogs, french fries. This is us going crazy. Where are we at? Uh, we're over here in the valley, Fort Jones, trying to have a good time. Oh no, look at that. I uh, broke a glove. Oh no! <laughs> Mr. Tanner, what are you going to do? Okay. You want to say hi to Scott Valley? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, you're saying hi to Scott Valley, not me. <laughs> Got the Lions Club. They're just frying away. Oh, look at you found a corn dog. There you go. Look at that. Four baskets. Full. <laughs> I'm gonna sneak over this way. Look at there's a placard that the clampers did. One more time on a couple of announcements here. We've got the Valley Oaks seniors across the street selling raffle tickets to help restore their building right here in front of East Hardware. The Christmas trees along Main Street. That you see dotted along each side here, please uh, take one of those with you if you need one or if you know a family in need once the parade is over. Once Santa clears the main street here, go ahead and grab yourself a tree if you need one or know a family that needs one. I see the highway patrol blocked it off down there. Wee. A little crazy. We're on Scott Valley time for our parade. Yeah, it's a little Scott Valley time, right? Just about. This is Scott Valley time. Always fashionably late. <laughs> exactly. Here we go, our one entry. <laughs> hey folks, we are going to kick this parade off here. Like you do see the horse, the top of the state horseman on their way. Welcome to the 55th annual Fort Jones Christmas Parade. Thank you all for being here today. We've got the rain rock covered as usual. It looks like we're going to be good for that. Please enjoy yourself while you're out here today. Be safe. And in a few minutes here, I'm going to turn it over to my partner in crime, Steve Robeson, who will introduce the top of the state backcountry horseman that will present the colors for us. And then we will sing the national anthem to kick this parade off. Again, Merry Christmas to everyone. Thank you for coming out here today. Find yourself a spot along the street there. Join in with family and friends as we start the 55th annual Fort Jones Christmas Parade. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the colors for today's parade is the top of the state backcountry horsemen. The backcountry horsemen's purpose is to educate and encourage participation in the wise use of the backcountry. Also to improve and promote the use, care, and development of the California backcountry trails, campsites, streams, and meadows. Also, their purpose is to promote public awareness and interest in the historical aspect of the horsemen and the stock in the backcountry. The backcountry horsemen, ladies and gentlemen, with the colors of the United States of America and California. At this time, we'd like to have the national anthem sung today by Lacey Gamela. Oh, see, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleam? 
whose broad stripes and bright star of heaven's fire for the ramparts we won were so gallantly steamed and the rockets red glare the bombs burst Thank you, Lacey. Thank you. Beautiful. As you know, Lacey's a manager of the Ace Hardware right across the street here. Thank you, Lacey. Super. Hey, folks. Uh, hey, one more time for Lacey. Thank you very much for doing that. It takes a lot to get up here and do that. Thank you. And now, folks, our Grand Marshal this year, Mr. Jim Hendricks. And Jim wrote us down a, a few pages here. I'm going to read you through that. Jim would like to begin by thanking the Fort Jones Lions Club for selecting him to be the Christmas Parade Grand Marshal. It's a great honor to receive this special recognition. And next, we'd like to recognize some of the people that have made his success in life possible. Uh, Jim was raised by his maternal grandmother, Maggie Dengel. His grandmother helped teach him to read and write and tell time. And she also taught him about much of the early history of Siskiyou County. So she was a passenger in the last stagecoach robbery by Black Bart on Forest Mountain. Later on in his business career in the communications industry, was influenced greatly by Etna High School teachers, Mr. Robert Carter and Mr. Al Keith, who introduced him to ham radio at an early age. Jim would like to wish all of you great attendees a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you to our Grand Marshal, Jim Hendricks. Yeah. Who's that driving there? Is that his license? See if he has that. Our next entry is the Scott Valley Pleasure Park Royal Key Court. It's being represented today by Queen Gilton Queen 16 years old for Montague, Princess. Olivia Laws, 17, from Little Shasta. Sage Weisner, from Ernie, who's 15 years old also, and Karina Amos, or Nakamas. Who's 18 years old from Hartman. These ladies would like to invite you to join them on May 4th, 2024, for the first annual Scott Valley Country Park Race Road. Then they will get from the Hartman. For our 76th annual May Rodeo and Parade. Then July 27th, 2024, we will have a time of the These ladies have proudly represented the side of the Prince of Park throughout the year, and they say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Your horses look very nice. They're well dressed. They're great today. You all look better than Tony. That's not how they do it. Hey, next up, folks, Scott Valley Fire Protection District. The fire department serves all of Scott Valley, 842 square miles, according to them, for nearly 50 years. They respond to everything from wildfires, electric fires, medical aid, and even vehicle accidents. They've been always looking for volunteers, and they are definitely needed. The fire department has been great for the past 50 years. Thanks for stopping by the We're glad you're here. We hope we never need you. Thank you.